Hey guys, welcome back. So today I been tinkering and doing my magic uh, emulator thing uh, and I managed to make Seam work with Xenoblade Chronicles X. So uh, yeah, and I wanted to show you guys uh, how it works and what it looks like and all that stuff. So um, yeah, and also uh, something that's kind of cool about this is that this is a this is a Wii U exclusive, which if you know about the Wii U, it's like a dead system basically, because like it doesn't really have much, uh, and most of the games that you can play on the Wii U, you can play them on the Switch, and you can play them a lot better. I assume that this game maybe one day will be brought to the Switch, or maybe uh, newer consoles later on, but uh, yeah, anyway, without... Uh, Messing around too much. Let's uh, let's continue. I already made I uh, I made a character, and I wanted just to briefly uh, show you what the game looks like and all that stuff. To me, it's kind of mind blowing considering that you know the Switch emulator is like it's pretty damn taxing on the computer. Uh, but this emulator works a ton better, at least in in my experience. It has been working a lot better. Like, look what this looks like and that's 60 frames per second. It doesn't always stay 60 frames per second, especially while I'm recording, but uh, I mean, to me, this looks crazy, you know? Because if you'd asked me, bef like, you know, a few years back, like, could, could you emulate uh, a PS3 or like something like that? I would have told you that it, it, it was impossible, right? So anyway, and this is kind of like an open world game. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, so basically, like, uh, what I like about it is kind of like the plot uh, is that uh, there was like two alien races and like they fought and basically like they fought like like right there on Earth and they fucked up the whole planet. And so what's kind of cool is that like uh, humans kind of were prepared for it. And so they all went out in arcs, which were like insane big ships. With like a whole bunch of people and like only one of them managed to survive and what you see right there just smashed on the ground uh it's actually the only surviving ship and basically we're one of the survivors of that ship uh so i mean if you ask me that's that's pretty fucking cool like that's like a, like a straight out of a sci-fi show you know what i mean so anyway uh let's just see what we can get into right um, I've heard of this game, like, uh, if you guys like, um, if you guys like, uh, longer video games, uh, this is the game for you, especially because it can, it can last up to, like, hundreds of hours, at least that's what I hear. Uh, I actually, I only play, like, 30 minutes or something, uh, so, excuse me if I suck at the combat and everything, I don't know how to do basically anything. So I guess we'll experience it together, which is kind of my stuff, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Uh, what the hell are those things? Apparently, they're not aggressive. Some of them are super aggressive, for what I've seen. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. Like, look at look at the freaking designs of the monsters and everything. And apparently you can like completely customize your character and everything like there's different armors, there's different weapons. For example, right now I'm carrying uh, like a like an assault rifle or something. And then like I have a knife too. But like apparently there's a ton of weapons too. And um, yeah, I mean it's just the whole idea of the game is just pretty crazy to me. You know, like that it's just working on an emulator. You know what I mean? Because uh, usually, like open world games, they work like shit. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty exciting. But uh, I don't know if you notice also, but like, did you notice how stable it works? And actually, if it looks choppy every like every once in a while, it's because the game is compiling some of the shaders, uh, and that's because it's never seen what's happening. You know, so and what I hear is that it only makes it only does that once, and once the emulator seen that it's already it's already good, which also happens on the Switch emulator. So yeah, oh, what am I getting? I'm getting attacked. Okay. 
That was pretty random. Okay. Oh, I don't know what, what that is. Uh, okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on. Pew, 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 pew. We got a friend here. Oh, there you go. Bam. Oh, you're not gonna attack me, are you? What's this? Chrome armor? Okay. Oh, Alright. Hey. Oh, I think I missed. So the combat is kind of like a like a it's kind of like Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much like it. So basically, you're not gonna be like touching every time what to do. Like the character basically plays by itself almost. Um, which you know, to me, it's pretty boring. But like, I'm pretty sure it'll it'll get better as you know as the game progresses. But uh, yeah, I, I just thought that you know the concept would have been pretty cool to, to touch on and everything, especially just if you're into emulators and things. So I actually really like emulate uh, emulation because you can play some some of these games and you can play them like and make them look better than what they actually look like on the on their actual hardware. You know, especially this game, like it has so much. Uh, they have so many mods, like, you know, you got, like, higher resolution, you got, like, um, you got, like, uh, shaders that make the game look like the, the colors pop out more, you got, like, all kinds of, like, you know, custom stuff to, to, to modify. So, yep, there you go. And so, apparently, like, now, uh, before I started recording, uh, the, this lady character told me that there's two ways to get back to that ship and one of them was like down there so apparently if we want we could just jump down so actually why don't we do that huh? you guys think we can let's see I want to see what happens actually just just to test it out let's go oh my god I could okay whoa did <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> That's pretty crazy, huh? Apparently the the upper path it's safer. Uh because the monsters are like lower level. Like, yo, I can swim too? Like what what the hell is this? But yeah, like uh as you can see, like it's it's a pretty it's a pretty crazy big world, right? Apparently it also doesn't have like many loading screens uh between areas. Which if you ask me that's Pretty damn crazy too. Oh, there you go. We're swimming. Yo, that. Yo, there's so many monsters, right? This is cool. I I don't know. Like I just I I love it. And um, and yeah, I just wanted to I wanted to touch on it at least you know, uh, show you like 15 maybe 20 minutes you know of gameplay. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Kill. Oh, okay. I got a tap. tap, 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 tap okay. Oh, we got credits and we got experience. Okay. I wonder if I can beat these monsters. Do you guys think I can do it? How do? How do I? How do I? Um. How do I do that? Huh? I have no idea. Oh no, what what did I do with the camera? What have I done? Okay, I don't know. Yo, damn. You guys see that big old monster over there? Yeah, like, look how smooth it runs. And my computer is actually, like, half dead. Actually, I wanted to tell you guys also that uh, tomorrow uh, I'm going to be getting a new motherboard. Uh, it's not gonna be any crazy upgrade or anything. I'm just like replacing my old motherboard because the past three or four months I've been actually recording with just one RAM slot. So because all of the all of my other RAM slots are actually fried, so I'm using like half my RAM. And um, and not only that, but like my my actual motherboard, it's pretty crappy as well. So it won't be like a major um, upgrade or anything like that, but it's definitely gonna be easier for me to edit and all that stuff, uh, especially because like 
uh, with only with only one stick of RAM, I could I could edit, obviously, but uh, it would take forever to render stuff and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, uh, I'm super excited about that. And this was just the habitat unit. The white whale was one hell of a ship. Until it all came crashing down, at least. That's the West Gate. It's closed off now for security reasons. But we've repurposed a freight elevator that will get us inside. <laughs> No, dang. We're gonna get wrecked. My carriage is super weak. I don't know if that's just how we all start, but like, damn. I'm gonna get killed like a mother sucker. Oh, I'm fighting? For sure? Are you, are you real? Okay. Okay, okay. They're just they're big, but they're not that bad. Okay. I'm not sure what some of the skills do, but you know, I'll, I'll get the hang of it. I'm gonna play it here and there just to just to see what happens. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. What was that? I didn't get to read. For Christ's sakes! Oh, oh. Our lady friend is getting wrecked. It don't matter. We're gonna win. Okay, the heal? I don't understand how some skills heal every once in a while. I, I, don't, I don't get... Oh, whoa! Yeah, damn, dude. I almost got killed. Okay, I think the game's not letting me die, actually. Which is pretty lame. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's a shame we had to. I'm just like super poopy life. at the moment. Just you wait. Luckily, just you wait. Some species aren't so hostile, but they aren't necessarily friendly either. I've come to learn that there's a fine line between self-defense and provoking a fight. We need to walk that line. All right, let's head in. Who knows? Maybe seeing the inside will jog your memory. Okay. I'm excited, actually. Okay. Oh, look at that. A shirt. Take it all. Wonder... Um... Oh, there it is. Okay. Because the camera, I think it was too far away. Okay, okay, okay. Not sure what all this is, but, uh, yeah. Also, guys, there's mechas. Usually, I don't really like them in, in anime and all that stuff, because usually the plots are pretty poopy. Um, but I do think mechas are super cool. I really like, um, like the models for the Gundams and all that stuff, for example, like uh, on YouTube you get like videos of people just building them and stuff and that just, I don't know, to me it's so satisfying uh, and plus like they're so detailed and everything, you know, it's super cool. Yo, what's happening over her? Okay, so as you can see like the emulator is like getting choppy a little bit and it's compiling stuff. I'm not sure if it actually shows on the screen or not, but okay, Thanks. talk. You must be the new friend that Colonel... Can you believe that word? I, I just couldn't believe it the first time I heard it. It says Colonel, and it's pronounced Colonel, which is... What? What's wrong with two people in English? I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway. Uh, okay, you, having just woken up after all that time, I'm sure you're dying to get home and take a shower. Unfortunately... Uh, the west gate is closed at the moment. Okay, if you want to enter the city, you'll need to use the elevator at the top of the stairs. Okay, they'll probably open the gate soon thanks to the great work you guys did killing the monsters that were causing all that trouble. Oh, oh, nice. We're here already. 
But until then, you'll have to forgive the inconvenience. Please understand. Okay. Okay, very nice of the guard to explain things. Okay, so we're compiling stuff. We're loading, we're loading. But yeah, even right now that it's compiling stuff and everything, it's still like 50 something frames, you know? And that's just nuts. Apparently the world of this game is bigger than the world in the game The Witcher, uh, which is basically one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, and it's a huge map, so... And there's no loading. I just, I, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it, you know? Hopefully it'll be fully playable here on the emulator, but like, I mean, just take a look at this. Just take a look at the, and like, I mean, and oh, by the way, you guys like are, are actually seeing the game on, at 720, um, 720p. So uh, the resolution, I haven't stretched it uh, to 180 because the native for the Wii U is 720. Uh, so I just wanted to see what the game would look like on the original, I guess, quote unquote hardware, which is not really, but I wanted to see what the game would look like without touching it too much. So I didn't add any of the mods or anything. Uh, but apparently, like, you can actually push this game to look even better. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. You know what I mean? This is, this is crazy. Okay, so, let's see. What I'm not a huge fan so far is actually how dark it gets in some places. I can't see a flying shit. So, but anyway, that's just a minor thing. I can just turn up the brightness, I guess, or some other setting. Okay. Hopefully this lady will accompany us for longer because I feel like, it, like I'm so weak, you know? Yo, and the intro of the game is actually freaking sweet. Like the animations and all that stuff is just great. This place is our home now. We took the name from the city it was modeled after back on Earth. Hmm. Okay. We call it New Los Angeles. Ah, oh, seriously? <laughs> what the hell? In LA. All right. Yo, that camera be shaking like a mother sucker. So, um. Yeah, like something that's super sad to me is the fact that a lot of these games are actually locked behind um, Nintendo systems, which, you know, Nintendo's fine and all, but specifically, like, you know, games like this that are stuck behind, um, you know, consoles that didn't have a future and they don't really have many enticing games or reasons for you to actually get the console. Yo, it loaded so many stuff, like so many uh, pipelines and, and shaders. Uh, so, anyways, uh, what I was saying is that it's it's just it's just a shame because like a lot of uh, I think a lot more people would actually play these games and actually buy them and enjoy them if you know if they wouldn't be exclusive to this crappy ass systems. You know what I mean? Um, Especially the Wii U, like I feel like it's such a failed experiment, you know? Uh, and I know that it, it does have fans, and it does have people that actually do love the system. But, I don't know, like it's just it's kind of sad, you know? I mean, imagine if these games would come to PC, or like, you know, even if they'd be on the, on the, on the PS4 or something like that. Um, I guess, oh, oh, okay, that's it. I guess the the something that that would be like closer to that it would be like the PS3, but I mean imagine like a remaster of these games on on current consoles and, and, and hardware. I think that would be freaking sweet. But uh, yeah, I mean that's a that's a cool intro, yo. Follow me. Okay, so apparently the living quarters 
it's the only place that does have a loading screen. At least that's what I heard. Um, but yeah. Lots of new shaders over here. There's a lot of stuff that the emulator has never seen before, so that's that's why it's choppy a little bit. And by the way, I apologize if I sound crappy. It's super late here and I'm like pooped from all day, so... <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it's pretty enjoyable to watch. Director General? Since when? Two days ago, ma'am. Okay. From political aid to Director General in just a few weeks. At this rate, he'll be Emperor by next month. Irina? Gwyn? Okay. Nice work out there, ma'am. Who this? Uh, show interest. Right. Introduction. I'm not really sure if the intros is matter at all, but this one of the survivors, Colonel? The survivor. I only found a single pod intact at Starfall Basin. Wait, what? What happened to ten more crew members? Come on, seriously? Shosan was never one to let the truth get in the way of a good speech. Still, every last survivor counts. You can call me Arena. I'm with the interceptors. Me too. Same division. You can call me Mr. Evans. Or just Gwyn. The three of us were in the Coalition Forces together. Specifically, the Special Operations Heavy Armor Training Unit, a.k.a. the Skeleton Crew. I was a colonel, and Arena a lieutenant. Gwyn was a more recent recruit. Of course, I keep telling them we don't need those old ranks anymore now that we're here. You're still colonel to me, ma'am. No reorg will ever change that. And that's not about chain of command either. It's about respect. You've earned it. And the award for best ass kiss goes to... Uh, <clears throat> well, I'd remind you both the ma'ams aren't necessary if I thought you'd listen. All right, ma'am. We should be getting back to work. Until next time, Colonel. Right. We should be going, too. The administrative district isn't far. That's where you'll be calling home. For now, anyway. Okay. Anyways, so, um, I guess that's it for now. Um, if you are interested in seeing more of this game, do let me know. I'll try to make more videos on it. I'll be playing it here, here and there. Uh, but uh, yeah, if I see someone take an interest in it and actually want to know more about the, the, the video game and actually to see the world and, and how it actually progresses and all that stuff, uh, do let me know. I'll try to make more videos on it, like I said. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you like the video, give it a like. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Bye bye.